Hi, guys. Hello, hello. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to see you again. How's your day going? So far, so yeah. good? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, what so happened to you good. yesterday, Eduardo? What happened? I had a problem uh, okay. with with the arrives to my house because Ooh, okay. it's getting late for me. Yeah. Oh, really? Due to your work? Yeah, and, and after that, I I need well, I had a problem with the car, so oh uh, no, I left the car in the taller. I don't know how do you say that. And uh, repair shop. Repairs. Repairs. Repair shop. shop. Oh, okay. oh, you can say the mechanic as well. Okay. You can say the mechanic. Oh, is it still there or is it already back home? <laughs> no, it's already back up today, oh. early in the wow. morning. Wow. Thanks God that you do not uh, uh, um, try, use it so frequently, right? Or oh, you're still, still working at home by any chance? Or no? No, I, 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 to... I go into the, to the uh -huh. work, to the oh. office. Really? Yeah. So you have to, oh, wow. I never, I never been in, in home office. I, I always yeah. went to the You office. always, oh, really? And what do yeah. you prefer, actually? I think it's better home office because when yeah. I have a meeting, uh, I yeah. have a lot of opportunity to do some things that I can't do if I go to the, to the office. Yeah, definitely. So you have like a, there's like a advantage and disadvantages, right? In regards to that. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. But I'm so there happy that I can comes. see you that because we miss you. We are so tired, by the way. But I'm so happy <laughs> that you're here and that you solve your car problem, by the way. So that's nice. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Is it your your little baby over there? No. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it's not. My it's baby, baby, but is uh -huh. is uh, my girlfriend's baby. Oh, really? Ah. Yeah, she has four years. Oh, old. a little baby. That's what I. Oh. And I have a a a, a little uh, pet. Really? <laughs> so she is very excited for for the new. Oh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a brand new pet? Really? It's a brand new pet. Hey, yes. where, uh, when did you buy it? Uh, on Sunday, the last Sunday, but I didn't buy it. It's a, it's, it's a gift? It's a gift. No, yeah, it's a gift for my sister. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What, what kind of pet is it? What part of pedigree? It's a pastor, but it's white so, <gasps> oh, so they call pastor albino albino yeah yeah oh my god oh it's to be so lovely oh it means, <laughs> it's a little bowl right yeah I, yeah i don't know if you can see now but let's double check because i love pets yeah. okay. where is his yeah. oh my god <laughs> it's so lovely oh and it's biting <laughs> your socks yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's so cute. He has a, oh. I think that he he's he will be a, a some problem because <laughs> why? They love they love uh, bite everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's that, they are babies, so they will bite your yeah. socks, they bite your sandals, your flip flops, your even your underwear, you know. <laughs> so yeah, so you need to like yeah. We have to be careful. For yeah, that. <laughs> you know what? My pet, uh, I don't know. They uh, he, just not. Uh, he bought he bought um at the my one pair of sandals my sandals yeah. uh, one pair of my husband's sandals and uh, even though i used to have another headset besides this one and uh, when i noticed what's going on what i cannot hear the, the other people because oh. he was by in the cable yeah so yeah. he destroyed it actually so yeah you have to get used to it because they they're babies. They're, it's because when they are, uh, they're feeling that the teeth are coming up. Yeah, it's, it's exactly like the like the human babies, right? The human exactly babies, the yeah. same. So 
that's part of the process. They are beautiful, yeah. but at the same time, you want to kill them. <laughs> but they're really I nice. Know, I know. Oh, you cannot imagine. Yeah, I have two dogs and one cat. Oh, really? Yeah. And Chestnut and the other one? Chestnut is a baby. He's 10 months. And the other one is Chestnut's dad. Oh, is Whiskey. Uh, he's uh, eight years old. However, uh, they're different because uh, Chestnut is more like his mom. His chestnut pedigree is Bichon Maltese. Oh, uh -huh. nice. And, uh, and Mr. Whiskey is Terrier with a Schnauzer. So he's smaller, right? A little bit smaller. Yeah. Done. And uh, Chloe Marie, that is a little cat. Actually, she's uh, between uh, white, yellow, a little bit of gray, and her eyes are blue. Oh, really? Yeah. And she's really and nice. They, she's lovely. They treat it good? Well, at the, the... at the first time, <laughs> at the first time, they treat her bad. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but, but uh, right now, uh, Chester and Marie are really close friends. Really? They sleep together. And sometimes That's Whiskey, nice. that is a little grumpy, right? Because he's older. <laughs> and yeah. he, sometimes he led Marie to lay down on his bed. And you know what? Once my husband woke up in the at night and he saw Marie on on Whiskey's back. So I was like, wow, really? So <laughs> now they are too close. They are too close now, yeah. They are too close. I, I think I will send you to you a, a video that I like um, record that Marie was like over the top of my bed because I, I need to like <laughs> uh, like put it on the bed on, on the right position so I can clean the yeah. the floor of my uh, one of my rooms so marie was on the top but she didn't know yeah. how to uh, get down <laughs> finally she found out and chestnut rescued her really yeah that's nice that's nice yeah it's like was, the movies <laughs> yeah it is actually <laughs> all righty <laughs> very good hey by the way uh did you have time also eduardo and the rest of the guys to um to check or to do that homework that I sent it to you? Uh -huh. Yeah, the homework from yesterday? Yeah. I read, yeah. Yeah? Uh, what is exactly, we, we saw yesterday about making um, requests for favors. <laughs> sometimes there's a favors that you love to do, sometimes you have a favor that you dislike to do. And besides the question, could you, we learn another phrases, right guys? We learn another phrases. For example, uh, Josue, you weren't here yesterday, were you? No, right? No. 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 Okay, so let me ask Adela. <laughs> Ay, Adela, sorry for that. Adela, do you remember some phrases that we saw yesterday to ask for favors? Like yes. formal or less formal? Would you mind? Would you mind, yeah. Uh, let me um, I you, was wondering I was wondering that remember yes. that that I was that was uh, with Jerons right uh -huh. would you mind uh, I was wondering with I was Jaren. wondering uh-huh oh, do you remember okay? that also? it is okay what uh-huh it is okay it is okay I if, if it is okay if very good that was with if class and also, do you remember that could you or can I? That was with model verse, remember? Yes. All right, very good. So did you do your homework, guys? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, okay. So remember, guys, that basically there were like, I think, seven or eight um, phrases, right? And you need to double check um, which one it is okay, for example, uh, if it's the first option or the second option, do you remember that? Let's do it together, let me check. Uh, there were six uh, mini dialogues, right? And you have two options. You can either select help, no, three options, help, helped, or helping, right? What is the first one? Can you please read it for me? Uh, let me check, Jose Ramirez, you have it on the chat. Yeah, I okay. did. Go ahead, please. Just read the the question without giving me the correct answer. 
Okay, but uh, I always have with the answer. No yes. way, you can say it without the answer. Okay, mm. would you mind me paint on Saturday? Okay, would you mind? Okay, would you mind help me paint on Saturday? Helped me paint on Saturday or help me paint on Saturday, guys? What do you think is the right answer? The second, helping me. Helped. Helping me. Aha, uh -huh. would you help me. help me or helping me? According to helping the me. to the image that I sent it to you before, do you remember that one? The image that I sent it to you before? Yes, teacher. Would you mind? Yes, you see? Would you mind? We can use if or we can use with ing form, right? So which one will be? Would you mind helping me? Yes. Helping, Has to, helping me, yes. Yes, yes. Helping not me. help because it doesn't have the mm -hmm. if clause. If, yes. Exactly. Yes. Very good job. Excellent. Mm. What is the answer, Jose? Give it to me the answer for, no. Uh, letter B, oh, uh, still letter B for number one, please. Give, now give me the correct answer of the question and also the answer of the question letter B. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, at the first is, would you mind helping me paint on Saturday? Very good. And, and what is the answer? No, I don't mind. I'm not doing anything then. Okay, I'm not doing anything then. Very good. Excellent. Great job, sir. Melvin, what about you? <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering, borrow your gold earrings? Aha, uh -huh. sure, that's fine. Just don't lose them. Okay, now give me the answer, please, with the correct part of the word of the question, please. Okay, I was wondering if I could you borrow your gold earrings. I if I could borrow your gold earrings. Yes. Okay. Okay. That okay. That is the right one. Are you okay with him? Are you agree with him? Guys, yeah. girls, yeah? Yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent. That was asking for a favor using the if clause, right? Excellent job. Right. Number three. Uh, Patty, you want to try? I, I knew it, teacher. Yes. There you go. Very good, Melvin. Okay. Great job, if, sir. Is it okay if I use your cell phone? Okay, very good. Okay, not a problem, but can you keep it short? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, are you agree with her, guys? If, it okay, if it's okay, if? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Cool. Very good job, buddy. Great job. Okay, number four. Hmm. Wendy, would you like to try it? Hi, teacher. Hi. Give me a moment. I am in a... Uh -huh. oh, oh, okay, not a problem. Take your time. Okay, okay. Thank you. you're welcome. What about you, Carlitos? I, I knew it, teacher. Teacher. Hi, Carlitos. Uh, Number four, please, Carlitos, if you don't mind. Uh, would you mind if, if I use mm -hmm. your car to pick up some groceries? Very good, but do me a favor. Do it like if you're asking something. Question intonation, please, Carlitos, go ahead. Okay, uh, would you mind if I use your card to pick up some groceries? Very good, that's what I need. Excellent job, exactly. Are you agree with him, guys? I don't know if he is using the puzzle, the groceries. Ah, the pronunciation. Uh, if I, I, use. Use, I think he's using the present. Yes, because I you cannot say it. if I using, no. Would you mind if I used to, no. Mm -mm. Okay, very good. Any other, um, any other uh, opinion, guys? Jose, I don't know, Olguita, Ramirez, or Olguita Sosa? It's okay. It's okay? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Olguita Sosa, now that you're answered that it's okay. <laughs> I knew it, teacher. <laughs> All right, uh, could you please be so kind to let me know what is the number five, please? Number five. Mm -hmm. Could you lend me your suit for a wedding? Very good. Lend or lend? 
Lend. Number one? Number one, yes. Very good. Are you agree with her, guys? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Of course. Yes. But you should dry it first. You should dry clean first, right? That means, yeah. Mm -hmm. you need to, like, if you're going to use it, you have to clean it. All righty, <laughs> very good. Excuse me, teacher. In, yes, sir. In that case, in that case, I confused because I what? thought that the correct answer is lending, because you don't use the if clause. Yes, but remember that is could. Cool. Could. Yeah. When yeah. You, when you use cool. When you use could, you don't, you don't use the use ing form. No. The, inf the ing form. No. It is. Okay. I think in the in the WhatsApp, I send like a little chart. With the phrases yeah. from the less for the informal onto the more formal, so you will be able to see the structure there. Okay, for example, for example you will use the ing form when you ask, like, I was wondering, or yeah, or would you mind, for would example, mind? yeah, but okay. we can and could, no, okay, perfect. You're welcome. I, I think I, you don't have it in the chat in the WhatsApp. You should have it there. Yeah, but you do. Okay, yeah, I, you got confused. Yeah. Okay. I confused. Yes. Okay, but, but now is it clear? Clear, like yeah. your shutter. Oh, so that means it's not clear. <laughs> oh, it's clear. It's clear. Uh, okay. All righty, and the last one, the letters number six. <laughs> Eduardo, you would like to try? Yeah. Go ahead. Wait, please. Uh, would you mind you buy me a snack from the vending machine, please? Okay. Is everything agree with him? No. 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 That was a tricky one, Eduardo. <laughs> Can you buy? Really? Yeah. Thank you. Because most of the time, if you if you check it out, most of the time you have to choose from the three options, but the three options are in the middle of the of the question. But now the three options are in the first part of the question or the possible question. So basically, you need to like uh, think okay, of, okay, me, I buy understand. Me a snack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was a tricky one. So, the correct one is wait, it is okay. One? Uh huh. It is okay. Oh, I don't know. Can can you buy me a snack from the vending machine, please? Oh, is okay. Is everybody agree? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. You see, that was a tricky one. I know that, <laughs> but very yeah. good. <laughs> very good job. Excellent. Now, guys, we will continue doing something. I, I think I sent it to you, right, guys? I sent it to you before class. A writing activity. Just to finish uh, developing this or get used to these phrases to ask for favors. If you notice, guys, I have six sentences. You see? That is regular sentences. Like the way that you're going to express to your body, right? Or to your friends or whatever. But the purpose of these six sentences is I want you guys to use the phrases that we learned yesterday. And I want you to convert or to rewrite these sentences using the phrases that we learned yesterday. So this one needs to sound more formal because these phrases are informal. So I want you guys to, trans to rewrite it and, and rewrite it in more formal way, okay? For example, lend me some money for a soda, okay? That is the regular way. But how can I make this sentence or this request more formal? I can say, would you mind lending me some money for a soda? Would you mind lending me some money for a soda? I'm saying exactly the same. I'm making a request, but in a formal way. Okay? So that is exactly what I want you to do with the rest of the five sentences. Because I already gave you the first one. Ah, so don't cheat. <laughs> okay, so guys, um, this is going to be individually exercise. So I will give it to you. Uh, right now it's 822. I will give it to you until 825 to finish it. Okay, and when we finish, we come back and we share what we have done. Okay, is it okay? All right, okay. I'll be right back. I will be here, right? 
Okay. But pretend that I'm not here. And that is an individual exercise. You can grab a piece of paper if you wanted to and rewrite it. You can use your computer or you can use your brain. That's okay for me. You have it there, right? Uh, Wendy, uh, Maria del Carmen, Olguita, Michelle, yeah? Everybody? Anita, yeah? Not yet. Yes. Not yet? Not yet. Okay, don't worry. But no, it's the information that I sent it on the chat, on the WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Just finish the route and I continue oh. with the class. Okay, cool. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. I love that kitty. That, that little tail is always looking for the Wi-Fi. But I don't know what happened with my camera because always happened this. Yeah, but I like it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that little kitty makes me relax. Okay. Yeah, and laugh sometimes. So that I like it. <laughs> because it's always looking for the best internet connection. Oh, okay. <laughs> All righty. There you go. Take your time, okay, Wendy? And when you're finished, you can... You can go back and enjoy the class, okay? Don't worry about that. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. One minute, guys. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Hola, dígame. Okay, guys, time is over. Don't worry if you have not finished everything. It's not okay. What you have is what you have. All right? So I already gave you the first one, right? Okay. What about the second one? Return these books to the library for me. Uh, what would be the appropriate way to say it, Carlitos? What do you think? Um, would you mind returning this book? This book? to the library for me. Very good. Would you mind returning these books to the library for me? Okay, that's one of them. Any other uh, choice, guys? Any other option that you have? I don't know, Neftali, Maria del Carmen, Olguita, Eduardo, mm -hmm. yes? Can you, can you return these books to the library for me? Yeah, that's possible as well. Very good, excellent. What about number three? Let me borrow your math homework. What do you have, Olguita, for that one? Olguita Sosa and then Olguita Ramirez. Oh, Karen, I don't know, Olguita. Uh, okay, Olguita. Is it, is it okay if you... No. Uh -huh, Can yeah. I borrow? Yes. <laughs> you have to use let me Can borrow, I... that, that phrase. Yes. yes. Uh, no. Can I let me? Mm -hmm. Can I try? Um, yeah, okay. Don't worry, Olguita. <laughs> Let's double check what yeah. Karen has. Okay, go ahead. Okay. That's okay. Uh, would you mind lending me borrow your math work homework? That would be good. That's a good one. Very good. Very good, Karen. Any other option that you might have, guys? Adela, I don't know. Helen, Neftali. What do you have, sir? Hello, miss. Yes, sir. Can you... Um... Mm -hmm. My example about. Mm -hmm, okay, go ahead. Go ahead with example number, number three. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Number, number three. Yes, sir. Let me borrow your math homework. Okay, can you use, you said, right? Can you let me? 
Can you let me borrow your math homework? Yes, very good. That's the other one. That's another possibility. Very good. Um, I do my uh, own sentence. Okay, that's good. But it was it is really good. Any other option that you might have, guys? Besides can this you one? Borrow, can mm -hmm. you let me? Can you let me? Yeah. A pen, please. Okay. Can you let me your math homework? Can you let me a pen? Okay, that's good. Very good, Naftali. What about number four? Okay. Um, Jose, what do you have, number four? I'd like to pour your cell phone to call my friend. Okay. It is okay if I uh, like to borrow your cell phone to call my friend in London? Aha. Okay. That is one option. Very good. What about, there's another option. Melvin, what do you have? The, the fourth? Yes, the number four, please. I was wondering, I like to borrow your cell phone to call my friend in London. Okay, very good. Uh, there's another one, Adela. You don't mind if I borrow your cell phone to call, to call my friend in London? Okay, that's a good one. Very good. Uh, Eduardo, what do you have for number four? Okay. Um, I was wondering if I could borrow your cell phone to call my friend in London. Yeah, that would be another possibility. Very good. Now, guys, let's double check number five. Can I look at the magazine when you finish it, right? When you finish reading it, that's the one. Okay, uh, that is really f informal, right? Can I, could I? Can I say exactly the same thing, but in a polite way, guys? Mm, let me check. Um, Michelle, what you have for us? Number five. Hopefully Michelle is here. Because I do not see her. Yes, may, I think he's not here. What about you, Karen? Okay. Um, it is okay if I look at that magazine when you finished reading it. Very good. That's a really good one. Uh, do you have exactly the same, guys, or you have a different way? I I could it. Uh -huh. Could it be all right if? If I look at the magazine when you finish reading. Mm, that would be really good. Excellent, Adela. Very good. Any other option, guys? Uh, sure. Uh, yes. It's possible to say, I was wondering if you look at the magazine when you finish reading it. I was wondering if I look or if I can uh -huh. look. Yes. Okay. If I can, if I if can, I can look. look. Very okay. good. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. And last but not least, Sarita, would you like to try number six? Hopefully, Sarita is here because sometimes they are not here. Helen, what about you, Helen? Hello. Hello. What about letters and number six? Can you transform this sentence into more formal way? Uh, I was wondering mm -hmm. if, if you can help me mm -hmm. in the help for man and dad get home. Very good, that's a really good one. Excellent. Any other guys, any other example that you have? Besides I was wondering. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Yes, Adela? Could you mind, yes. Could you mind help me clean the house before mom and dad get home? Very good, would you mind? Excellent, very good job. Excellent, very good. So you see guys, we can use different phrases to say exactly the same that we have learned from the, le from the less informal, can, could, to the more formal. Would you mind? I was wondering if it's okay if, you see? So that's exactly the same way. It is really nice guys to, to learn those phrases because that will help you uh, increase your vocabulary, but at the same time, when you speak English, you will feel more fancy. You see, uh, would you mind, you know? 
you will feel more British. I don't know, more native one. Would you mind if you close that door for me? Thank you so much. You see, ah, oh, that is so picky, right? <laughs> yeah, that's great. Excellent. Very good job, guys. I'm so proud of all of you. You have done a really, really good job. All right, guys. Now we already focus on the. Um, reading and other pronunciation now let me send you something because it is time guys to focus on some words that um we say when we use can or could but um it's really interesting to focus on them because uh, sometimes we do not notice that we use those letters, for example, letter G as in tomato, letter D as in David, K as in kilo, G as in golf, P as in papa, and B as in boy. Sometimes when they follow by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Have you noticed that, guys? So I'm going to send it to you, this thing, because I want you to have it with you. But at the same time, I want you guys to pay attention on the, this dialogue. Well, this pronunciation, actually. Let me know when you receive it, okay? Just bear with me for a couple of minutes. I will send it to you right away. I just want to open this. Let me know as soon as you're able to receive it, okay? Every time that I need to do that, I need to click on here. So, there you go, oh, there you go. That's great. Woohoo. Okay, let me just one moment. Uh, this one, this is the one. Yeah, here we go. Did you receive it, guys? Did you? Yep. Yes. yes. All right. Yes. Okay, so now, guys, we're going yes. to focus on the pronunciation. Okay, if you notice the information that I sent it to you, there are some words on, the, on those questions that uh, you need to learn how to pronounce it without uh, without everybody notice that are there. For example, you can see that in the first one, uh, do me a favor, Eduardo, how you pronounce the first question? The first one that I sent it to, could dog, that one. Eduardo. Where is Eduardo, by the way? I think he's doing something with here, the pet. Here, ah, here. okay, okay. No, I no. send you the, the little the, the little thing yeah. there right now. So just pronounce me the first question, please. Like the way that you you, you pronounce it. Just say it. Okay. Could dog take care of my pet spider? Okay, very good. That's the way you pronounce it. Okay, good. Now, can you please be so kind to pronounce the second question? Uh, let me check. Helen Mercedes. The second one, please. Ask Bo to help me. Excuse me, can you do it again, please, if you don't mind? Um, can you ask Bo to help me? Okay, can you ask Bo to help me? Okay, could you? Okay, guys, if you notice on this, on the quick questions that I sent it to you, there are some words that are in the bold color. You know what bold is? Negrita, bold color, yeah? Which yeah. letters yeah. are in bold color, guys? Which letters? D, 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 K, uh huh, K, K, exactly. So now I will play right now an audio and please pay attention on how they pronounce the two questions, and you will never uh, know that they that those words or letters are unreleased. They are there because you know how to write it, but when you mm -hmm. pronounce it, it's totally different. So bear with me for a moment. Let me share it right now on my screen. And just let me know, guys, if you're able to listen, please. 18, exercise. Are you able to listen? Yes? Two. Or no? Okay, that's yeah. what I meant. Size four, pronunciation. Unreleased consonants. Part A, listen and practice. Notice that when t, d, k, G, P, and B 
are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? Uh-huh. Did you notice that, guys? Yeah. All righty. Is it really hard, right? Would you like me to play it one more time for you? One more time? Yes. Okay, yes. guys. Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Page 18, exercise 4, pronunciation. Unreleased consonants. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that when t, d, k, g, p, and b are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? Mm hmm. It was unpredictable, right? It's really hard, right? Sometimes. You don't say could do, no, could dug. You say gag, gag. It's really hard to pronounce, but you will get used to it. Okay, now guys, do me a favor. Pronounce again the question that I sent it to you. Bo big team, <laughs> sorry, volunteer. <laughs> Thank you, Jose, you're left. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Good dog, take care of my pet spider. Okay, now the second one, please. Can you ask Bo to help me? Uh, uh -huh. the second one it was harder, right? Can you? Uh, yeah, because that one it was really hard. I don't, I don't want to hear Bova. Can you ask Bova? That's what I want to hear. Okay, I, I know it's hard, but the first one was good. The second one, you need to do it again. Okay, but that's okay. Good try, my man. Good try. Very good. Patty, would you like to try? Híjole. Yes. Okay. Is called uh, Take Care of My Pet Spider. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good try. Then. Second one. Can you ask Baba to help me? Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. That was real good. Uh, uh, but, the, but the second one, I don't want to hear ask. You ask. see? They are, they are unreleased. When they, when, that means that you don't have to pronounce it exactly because they follow by a consonant. That's what it is, the, the, the exercise. So can you ask? Can you ask? You see? Can you ask? You know, can, say, you, can ask? you ask? Can you ask? Uh -huh. You ask. Very can good. Ask? Excellent. But good try. Excellent. You want to try it, Eduardo? It's very difficult. I know, <laughs> but you but you can try it. I will try it. Yeah, okay. go ahead, sir. Cool. That I take care of my pet spider. Very good. The second one. Can you ask Barb to help me? Very good. Excellent. Okay, now I will send it to you guys uh, two, two mini dialogues, if I can say that. And uh, I just need you guys to just circle, circle the consonants in the conversation that you think they are on release. Okay, so bear with me for a moment. Let me send it to you right now. Okay. I sent it to you right now. Do you receive it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Page 18, exercise four, part Okay, very good. Now guys, I will play the audio one more time and I will help you. You have the image in front of your of your eyes, right? That's what I sent it to you. So what I'm going to do is to play the audio and focus. Focus on the words or letters that they're unreleased. Remember, it has to be D as in David, K as in Kilo, T as in Tomato, B, right, as in Boy, right? So I want you guys to focus. Focus on the question and the answers, okay? So that's why I send you a mini dialogue. Okay, let's practice right now. The more you practice, your your ear get used to it, okay? So bear with me. All right. Can you listen? Page 18. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. In exercise four, part B. Circle the unreleased consonants in the conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations with a partner. One. I was wondering if I could borrow that book. 
Yes, but can you take it back to Greg tomorrow? Two. Would you mind giving Albert some help moving that big bed? Sorry, but my doctor said my back needs rest. Okay, would you like to do it one more time? Yes? yes. Yeah? Okay, we're right now, guys, developing the listening skill to just listen those pronunciation and intonation. I know it's harder, but we need to practice, okay? Okay. There you go. One more time. Page 18, exercise 4, part B. Circle the unreleased consonants in the conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations with a partner. 1. I was wondering if I could borrow that book. Yes, but can you take it back to Greg tomorrow? 2. Would you mind giving Albert some help moving that big bed? Sorry, but my doctor said my back needs rest. All right. Okay, guys, which uh, letters do you circle? Oh, you could notice in the listening part that they're on release. Uh-huh. Which one? Cool borrow. Yeah, that's one of them. What's the other ones? The D and the B, right? What else? The boot. Wondering. Book. Yeah. Wondering book. Yeah. Greg. Greg. Yeah. What about Big Bad? Big Bad. Big Bad. Yeah. You, she didn't say Big Bad. She said Big Bad. Right? Bad, bad. Yeah, I know. Okay. Any other one, guys? But that's Take it. it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Take it back. You see? She didn't say take it back. She said take it back. Right? You see how pronounced it? Take it back. Let's go. What? I know. And you know what? That's the way they speak. Yeah. I think I will send you a, a video, a TikTok video. <laughs> A, a black guy speaking here, yeah, you will love it. You will love it. You will see like, what? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? We're doing this exercise, guys, because I want you that your ear get used to that pronunciation because sometimes they speak really fast or they do not even pronounce the letters that you said, what the hell you're talking about? You see? So it's really important that we get used to that kind of pronunciation and also that we also practice and speak the same way, you see? Because we also, we need to express that that way. So you see guys, we have learned B, K, T, D, that sometimes they are not, they are unreleased if they follow by consonant. All right, now we're doing something else. We continue practice the listening, okay? <laughs> Today we're going to develop listening. I told you that this week will be, I will like squeeze you, okay, and squeeze your brains, right? Like lemon, yes, I will squeeze you. You, you will dream about me. <laughs> no, it will be a nightmare. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And Melvin said, no, no, please. Yes, Melvin, it will be a nightmare. I'm just kidding. All righty. So let me, let's continue developing the listening skills, guys. And now I will send it to you something else. Basically, guys, this one, you will listen three person. Three person uh, talking about, uh, there will be a, like a telephone conversations. And basically you will need to you to listen each caller's request. Okay. And I want you guys to write down, first of all, the request. And then if the person who was asked the request for, it was agree to the request, or disagree with that request. So that's what I want. So there will be two things that you're going to do. Okay? Let me send it to you. Did you receive it, guys? Yep. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so that's what I want. All righty. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me check. We are on page 18. Yes. Okay. Page 
18, exercise 5, listening. Favors. Okay. Yes, that's the one that I need. So allow me just one moment. Let me share it right now on my screen. Okay. Page 18. Is it okay, the audio? Do you listen to it, guys? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. In exercise five, listening. Favors. Part A. Listen to three telephone conversations. Write down what each caller requests. Does the other person agree to the request? Mm -hmm. Check yes or no. One, Tina. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. 2. Kyle Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. <laughs> I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Three. Phil. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She <laughs> won't bother you, I promise. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. <laughs> all right guys so do me a favor let me ask you this the first one in the first one the person that was asked the favor was agree or disagree the for only that agree or disagree agree agree, agree. okay what about the second one disagree disagree and the third one Disagree. 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 Disagree, exactly. No, all agree. No, agree. At the, at the yeah. end, agree. Yeah, at the end, no, agree. Not as convincing, but disagree. He, he, well, but she said, oh, but you owe me one. You know what that means? You owe me one. Yes. Debes una. Me debes. Me la debes. Me la debes. You owe me one. Okay? Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. So the first one, uh, what was the, exactly the favor that he, she asked for? What was the favor? The camera. To borrow the camera. To take some picture for her folks. Folks, right? Folks. F-U-L-K-I-S. That's another way to say, guys, amigos. Folks. But do you remember? Um, like Bugs Bunny. Like Bugs Bunny. Yeah. That's all, folks. Yeah? yeah. Pero eso es más que todo como cheros. Yeah? Or, or you can say it in, in uh, I, I, I don't know if it's like... Colombian phrase like pana, my panas, yeah, yeah, that's good. So my fox. All right, very good. What about the second request, the second favor? Uh, he, she is borrow a bread maker. A bread maker, exactly, because what he wants to do, he wants to bake a bread for his girlfriend, right? But what happened? He's agreed, but he's broken. Uh -huh, exactly. The bread maker is broken, right? So at the end, what he decided to do? 
go to a bakery. No, to a bakery. Easy peasy queasy, right? Mm -hmm. It would be much better if he had cooked for his girlfriend, but there was no bread machine, so never mind. What about the number three? Uh-huh. What was this, the third um, favor? What happened? Take care of Polly. Polly, Polly, exactly. <laughs> hey, let, let me ask you, by the way, uh, the girl loves animals, loves birds? No. No, no why not? So. What yeah. did she say about birds? That are, that are noisy. noisy and not clean. But Polly is the opposite way, right? Polly is clean and not noisy at all. Can you imagine a bird no noisy? I don't, I don't think so, right? <laughs> Very good. But at the end, if she agreed with him to take care of Polly? Yes. Okay. And when he's going to take Polly to his friend's house? When? Aha, you haven't noticed it's that, Friday. right? Friday. Oh, Thursday. Uh, on Thursday. Thursday night, yes. Yay, very good. So you see, guys, we are developing the listening skill. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? It's really nice, right, to like develop in this. Uh, hey, guys, let me ask you. I have sent you a lot of extra listening practices just for you to develop your skills, right? Like uh, taking the name of a person or writing the email addresses have you practiced them already have you or have you haven't tell me the truth yes yes or no i tried the phone number but it's uh, so oh, sorry the the names the names and how was it jose uh, difficult very difficult it is difficult it's like it's british mm -hmm. british yeah yeah, that's why I sent it to you guys. Imagine names. Yeah. Imagine the, emails. The speed is, is so fast. I know. The first time, maybe you will understand like 0.5%, right? But next time, you will understand the more and more. The purpose of this is to develop your listening skill. You know what? There's one of the hardest part to pay attention and to learn is to write down the email addresses for persons. It is really hard. Why? Because sometimes they are real names, guys, but sometimes they are invented. For example, co a, a cookie sh that chocolate at jahoo.com. Imagine that that is an email address, cookie. Okay, you know that cookie, in a regular way, you, you write it like C-O-O-K-E-I-E, -E, right? Cookie, right? Like a dessert. But sometimes, no, imagine that cookie is spelled like this. Cookie. You see? So sometimes, you know, ah, I know how to write cookie in English, but no, that was not the cookie that you know. It was another way to write cookie. It was K-O-K-K-I-E, no C-O-O-K-I-E. So that's why email addresses are one of the most harder parts. And that's why I send it to you guys, because I want you to practice, to develop your listening skill, to go an extra mile. And the only way to do it is to practice it. I will send it to you this week, mailing addresses mailing addresses. I want you to listen about the name of the streets, the name of the avenues, boulevards, numbers. So you learn also how to write. Okay, why I'm sending to you all of this? Because that is the main information for personal information. Yeah? When you travel, for example, when you go to the bank, when you want to make a reservation for anything, you have to give your name. You got to give your phone number. You gotta give your email address and also you gotta give your mailing address as well. So it's, it's part of the in basic information of a person. So you need to have it this like, catch it, okay? You know what? We're going to do some listening exercises on class as well, okay? Because it's really, really important. 
hey guys, but please do it because I'm going to send it to you. I will like searching for the best information for my students and the students are not going to do it. That's not possible. <laughs> yes, you will broke my heart. Don't cry, Jose. Don't cry. Okay, don't cry for me. I'm just kidding. Yeah, but that's the purpose of that. And I will send it to you guys even hotter because I will try to send it to you Japanese speaking English, German speaking English, French speaking English, Arabic people speaking English, and also black people speaking English. That's the hardest one. I will send it to you, okay? <laughs> yes, I know. That's why I'll, I'll let you know that you will dream about me. <laughs> okay, guys. So it's not going to be any homework for today. No way. I will let you rest, okay? Because I'm really nice teacher and easy going one. And Carlito say, yeah, yeah, that's what I love, the girl. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, you will hate me this week. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, guys, it was nice to have you in the second day of this week. So hugs and kisses. And see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye, take care. Bye. Bye.